We're at North High School where tonight the Golden Raiders take on Sheboygan South for the third time this year, this time WIAA action. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin, joining me is the coach Chris Wright. We got the band behind us, they can't wait to play while we're talking. <laughs> Chris, I think it's going to be the same old story. If South can handle the pressure, you know, they'll be in the ball game. If they can't, uh, they're going to, going to be in for a long night. Yeah, there's no question. We, I've thought about that, you know, when we talked about doing this game and when I saw the pairings and are we going to do this game, can South handle the pressure? You're talking about a team at South High School. I mentioned it both times. They, there are a lot of juniors on their team. Are they going to take that next step forward? I mean, it's the same old, same old. To take that next step forward, you got to take care of the basketball and handle the pressure of a good basketball team like Sheboygan North. One of the things that kept the game so close the first time around, North only won by seven, was horrendous shooting. I mean, I don't think they can shoot any worse than they did that game. If they can put some points on the board early and force South to come from behind, it could uh, really be a uh, you know tough goal for the Southsiders. Yeah, it's very. Uh, you're correct. Last game, the first game was 20 to 16 at halftime. Actually, in, in South, and it was in this place here too. And you now both games, uh, South only scored 39 points, but mostly they only scored 39 points is because they had over 30 turnovers in those games. So South can handle the ball, you know, and get something going a little bit. You know, they can they can knock off this North team. Uh, just talking from a numbers point of view, what kind of turnover situation can South have and still remain in the game? Because I think we had them in the 30s and then actually in the 40s the second game. Yeah, they got to have less than, uh, I'm saying, four a quarter at the most. I mean, that's 16. That's almost too many as well. But if you cut that in half, just think about how many more possessions you get. And, you know, the first game they lost, like you said, by seven. And the second game by about 20 or so. But, you know, they can maybe hang in there uh, with North. North, on the other hand, a very senior-oriented team. They're, they've been dreaming of this little trip here. And, you know, they got the same kind of forecast ahead of them as the boys do. They got uh, the same basic ma mission. You know, they're going to have, you know, Bayport, and then they're going to have De Pere, just like the boys are. All right, they're chomping on the bit behind us. They want to play, and Jeff Parks just looked over. So we're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected fraud. Back at North High School where uh, Bill Horse, the uh, floor announcer, is getting ready to uh, introduce the starting lineup. So we'll step out while he does that. Thank you. 
Yagodinsky and uh, Jandron are uh, going to be working the uh, state tournament this year down in Madison, and they'll also be working the big game tomorrow night, Chris, over at uh, Manitowoc when uh, Germantown takes on De Pere. Uh, South is uh, coached by uh, Tyler Thomas, assisted by uh, Terry Radke, and uh, Tom Burr and Justin Bingham. South, of course, coach, uh, pardon me, North, of course, coached by uh, Susie Runnis, assisted by uh, Kim Hutz Shelby. And we're off. Kevin Conway also on the bench, along with Jeff Wigdall. Hard to the hoop, but having her shot blocked was uh, Salzbrenner. Leading scorer, Salzbrenner, 14 points a game. Tried to get her over to a free, but it was stolen away by Selk. Get shots up, South. You're better to shoot it than to turn it over. I know we mentioned in that second North-South game about the importance of making some baskets so they could set up the press, but it didn't matter as they were pressing whether they made a basket or not. Fall on North. Coach Thomas got to be happy with that first uh, offensive attack. Good movement by the Red Wing ladies, and they draw a foul. But they can't get the lead. Emily Schaefer on the line with a pair. Schaefer, one of the only seniors, averaging eight points a game. One to nothing South. South, 10 wins, 11 losses, five and 10 in the league. North, 19 and three. Very similar to the boys. They've had an excellent season. Two of their losses to De Pere, just like the boys. Hopefully it won't be three. Nope. And uh, getting the grab on her was uh, Kimberly Wyman. Kimberly a junior. Seventy-seven percent from the free throw line, Lauren, but she misses that one. Team shooting sixty percent from the free throw line, Marty. Yeah, it's not very good. Shoot better than that. Less than sixty percent now after one for two. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that pressure. Salzbrenner uh, working real hard, but the salt breaks the press. Good job. Now let's see if they. Rainbow shot is no good. Use it all, couldn't get the rebound. Oh, that's a double dribble, but they didn't call it. Schaefer has it. Oop. Paris a little bit late on the pressure. We had mentioned last night how there were very few whistles and uh, so far here tonight, we've uh, had three of them. Very few whistles last night. There's one Ball of those stolen turnovers. away, first turnover by the Lady Red Wings. <laughs> one of the players for North that's really come on this season is CJ Usedal, the sophomore. She is uh, Yes. I think they're going to get a reach there. You know what's strange about those fouls last night, Marty, with the boys' game? I w looked at the press website, looked at their pictures. In the Lutheran game, both at the end, they showed the final score. Both teams had over 10 fouls total. Now, that's too many, too. But last night, what was it, about uh, there four were, and a half, second and a half? Actually, I think we were at about six with yeah. two or three minutes left, and North committed a foul at the end there. Yeah. Good hustle by South. Yeah, South, uh, pardon me, use it all, missed the shot, and then South came away with the loose ball. You know, I saw this last time, Marty. They seem to, the 
South girls always want to go to those corners and those sidelines. They got to stay in the middle of the floor. That's what they did on the first press break. You know, they got the ball in the middle, just over half court, and the but left. They, they always seem to go to the corners. They got to stay in the middle, and that's when the North does a nice job rotating, getting that easy trap. South got to get away with that one, not turning it over. Selk forces it in, couldn't get it. Schaefer, shot was blocked out of bounds. It's a lot different in the regular, than the regular season. There seem to be less fouls and things. Wyman down the lane, had a pretty good look, but couldn't get it in. Free comes away with the loose ball, long pass to Paris. Up and in, and she's fouled. There you see it. Oh, well, good a time as any to uh, announce the crew tonight. Kerry Kautzer is our director out in the truck. Richard Bartson up here by us doing the top camera and Steve Reiner working down below. Working at sea level. Yeah, Morgan at 58% from the free throw line hits. And I love our graphics, Marty. It's really sharp. I love that little logo. Another steal. Jim Eisner would always really get mad at his son Todd, or any of the players for that matter, when they didn't realize who was behind them. You know, you gotta have that court awareness, and that's what happened with Lizzie Free that time. She got the ball, but uh, was oblivious to people behind her and wound up almost losing the ball. Yep. Both teams playing a man-to-man -man defense. Under the five minute mark in the first quarter. Still trying to feel each other out, I think, a little bit, Marty. Good cut by Use It All, but she got caught too far under the basket. Oh. Free gets tagged with a foul. Three personals on uh, both squads. There's Coach Runneth. Yep. Much better job. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Schaefer, a little pick and roll action, but uh, pretty good defense that time on Burkhart. Shot around and in by Rachel Van Schloos. And she's fouled. There you see Tyler Thomas. Jeff Risto way in the back. Yep, and Jamie Berlin. I see Jamie almost every Sunday now, every other Sunday. He helps supply me with chicken dinners. <laughs> oh, just Hoop didn't want it. Four to three north. Whoops. Oh, Paris had a wide open lane to the basket and missed the layup. Nobody picked up Morgan there. You know, these teams, they play like twice a week all the time, and, you know, they've had a little bit of a layoff, Marty. A uh, bump by Bauer not called, and getting called for the travel was uh, Lauren File. Fans right below us, south side, didn't care for that call. Or should I say no call? <laughs> Use it all going hard to the basket and the file I think is going to get the foul. Nope, number 22, Kara Selk. Well, he played four minutes and each team's got four fouls. And they have more free throw attempts probably than uh, field goal attempts. This will be the fifth free throw for North coming up. They've made... Uh, Three of four so far. Use it all open from outside the line. Couldn't get it in. A good rebound that time by the Lady Red Wings. And use it all with the steal. <laughs> Just like a well-oiled machine. Yep. Lizzie free. <laughs> You knew that was going up. Just like the old man. Eight to three north.
Bad spot. Get rid of it. Schaefer under lead, and the ball is out of bounds. You know, I think South's doing an excellent job of creating opportunities. They're just not putting anything in. You know, they're at least they're limiting their turnovers. They seem to have some type of flow to the basket and getting things. They just can't put the ball in the hoop. Rachel Smith checks in. They're just one of five so far, Marty. And we're going to get a foul. Foul goes on Bauer. Just a foolish foul, too. She's got to have better position. Rainbow shot is up and in by Rachel Van Schloos. That was sweet. She's got all the baskets for South. Travel. The winner of this game will uh, play the winner of Manitowoc and Kimberly. Could be here tom tomorrow night. If North wins, it will be here. If, uh, if South wins, it'll be at uh, either Kimberly or uh, Manitowoc, since they each have a higher seed. Carice taps it out of bounds. Eight to six, North on top. Wyman had a good look, but uh, didn't even come close. Salzbrenner looking to drive it, but uh, pretty good defense played by the South Siders, so she pulls it out and cranks a three. Use it all with the board. Salzbrenner, again, good defense that time. Rachel Smith has uh, Salzbrenner. Hits her after the shot, knocks her right to the floor, no call. Molly Burkhart back in. North's not much better, Marty. They're two of eight from the floor. Yeah, it's been a slow night shooting, that's for sure. Schaefer has it. Gets a double team right at half court. I would think that when she fell down, it could have been a travel call right away, but uh, maybe she had her dribble. Her back was to us. South just two seniors this year. Van Schloos has it being guarded by Paris. I think they're gonna get an offensive foul here. We did. Or, uh, Rachel Van Schloos, that's her second foul. Coming in for uh, her is uh, Cheyenne Welsh. 137 left in the first quarter. It's been kind of a long quarter, Chris. Yes, a lot of fouls. <clears throat> 10, as a matter of fact. Well, that is a lot. We were in and done yesterday, what, an hour and 12 minutes. Salzbrenner in the lane, couldn't get it in. And uh, the rebound ripped away by uh, Lauren File. Oops. Smith went one way and the pass went the other and it sailed out of bounds. Again, just pressure, 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 not comfortable with the ball. Pick up a cheap foul doing that. Yeah. Cheyenne. Salzbrenner sneaks through the defense and puts a layup up and in. That was sweet. Nice move. First basket. One of five tonight so far. Keep shooting. Yep, under a minute. Oh, ball goes out of bounds. Molly Burkhardt forcing the action, but she couldn't control the dribble. Lugopolsky uh, is in, number 10. She uh, provided a lot of spark, uh, if I recall, in that second north-south game. She's very quick.
three from outside the line. Good save by Salzbrenner, but to give South a bust out. Smith lays it up and in. 10 to eight. North on top, 25 seconds remain. Parise going baseline. She gets pushed on the way. Yeah. Molly just rode her all the way, Marty. Well, Burkhart and Van Schloos used to have two fouls for uh, the Lady Red Wings. And Molly checks out. Wyman back in. Lugopolsky off the bench for a three with under 10 seconds left. Shot at the buzzer is no good. Wyman had a good look. We're at the end of one quarter play, North on top, 13 to eight. Using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? Back at North High School, uh, North break in the huddle, getting ready for second quarter action. Rachel Van Schloos with her two falls is leading South scores with five points. For uh, North, Salzbrenner has three. Lugopolsky has three on her three point shot and uh, so does Lizzie Free. And uh, Morgan Paris on a three point play, Chris. So it's Scoring pretty well spread out. Big three there at the end of the quarter, no question. And a real quick fall on Selk. And that means bonus time for North. Well, we need to make a quick announcement before we move forward. Uh, you bought the sodas tonight for the first <laughs> time all season. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> well, maybe I'm exaggerating. <laughs> But we had to get that in. <laughs> I wanted to know if you saw any mothers out in the uh, commons area. No, we're just waiting for you. 15 to eight and a travel. Cheyenne Welsh and uh, what do you got for turnovers, eight. Chris? Eight for South. And he talked about four a quarter, and you know, they've matched their first half uh, allotment. That just means you have less chances to, you know, shoot and score, and just limits your chances. Kukopolski uh, had the layup attempt, but couldn't get it in. Connor on a nice drive. A lot of pressure. Use it all. Up and in. Little run here by uh, North. Ooh. Almost a turnover, but uh, stay with South. Was what, 10 to 8, right? Now yep. it's 17 8. 7 0 run, huh? 12 no, 9. Well, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 0 run. All after that three and then. Selk had a good look at it, couldn't get it in. Wyman took the ball away from use it all and put it up and in. Good rebound and a put back. Time out north. South. South. Curious. Well, if I would have called one, I would have called one earlier, not after we make a basket, but. Uh, 
Maybe well, and you're just Thomas coming out of a timeout, too. I mean, yeah. what more? And Well, I would have called because they were a little run going, but you just scored now. But Coach Thomas is obviously going to explain something, which, like you mentioned before, we just had a timeout. Something there. You may need those later. I know they used so many timeouts in the first game, just trying to break the press and stuff and getting all boggled up. There's Simo. Well, long time teacher here at North. Yep. And track, track coach. He was up at North last start at the North game. And last night? Yep. Swabadon. Good crowd by Sheboygan people last night, the boys game. Yeah, the gym was packed. Paul's runner has it taken away. Good hands by Rachel Smith to tip it away. Burkhardt fires it inside to Wyman who puts it up and in. She's got two baskets in a row. 17 to 12 now. Salzbrenner hit after the shot but nails a three. It's her 29th three of the season. And ball tipped away. North hit 139 threes coming into this. Now they got three more onto that tonight. It's always a good thing when you're making your three point baskets. Good create Lyman, things in the lane. Shot later. in the lane off the glass and in. She has six, eight, six straight points. Free being guarded by Smith, takes it down the lane and he gets hammered to the floor. Foul goes on Rachel Smith. Free will be at the line shooting a pair. Free was there earlier in the game, I thought. Apparently not. 68% from the free throw line. Line drive on the second one, she put it in. 21 to 14, North on top. Six minutes remain in the first half. Good press break. Smith. Up and in. Well deserved basket by South there. Broke the press well, open shot, and she made it. South's four of their first five here in the second quarter to stay within five. Kupolski off the glass, no good, and then she uh, tips it out of bounds. She's very quick. Checking in is uh, Rachel Van Schloos with her two falls. Coming out is Kara Selk, she has two. <laughs> Molly Burkhardt also has two falls. Yeah. Nobody with two on the north side. Ooh, good catch by Smith. That time South kept it in the middle. Schaefer's shot is high off the glass, no good. Wyman's rebound putback is also no good. She had a good look at a basket, but couldn't get it in. Use it all, pull up in the lane. It's no good, and I think she's gonna get called for a charge. She is. Now she's got two fouls. Yep. And Lugopolski coming right back in. And Schluss loses it, a little bit out of control. And Paris not being aware of who's behind her had it tipped away by Burkhardt. Lugopolski says, not in my house. Erica Trum coming in for the first time tonight. Oh, bounce pass by Wyman goes right to Paris. 
Oh, yeah. bad, bad choice there. Yep. Andy Bauer in the ball game. Taking Trum off the dribble, and uh, Erica picks up a foul right away. We will be shooting free throws. Well, if there's someone to follow on uh, North, it's probably Bauer. She's just at 55%. Ten free throws already for uh, North in the first half. Last night in the boys game, North never got the ten. I think they shot five all night. Yep. Rebound putback is uh, good by Wyman. She has eight points in the quarter. 21 to 18. Way Maurice. downtown. Good block out that time by uh, Molly Burkhart. Morgan leads North with the most three-pointers made this year at 32, so not surprising she shot that one. No. Look pretty comfortable out there, too. Morgan Bellinger in the ball game for uh, North. Trum gets turned back around. Ball's going to go on Paris. Van Schluss will be at the line shooting a pair. Morgan's got two now as well. Taylor Dahlman in the game. Cammy Feld in for uh, South. That's a good shot of Rachel. It's pure. Just under four minutes, we got a ball game, Marty. Yes, sir. Those two free throws makes it uh, North 21, South 20. They're battling back. Sure. They've uh, had a 6 nothing run. Salzbreno spins back to the middle. Her shot rolls off. Tyler Thomas from the bench calls a timeout. But that's number two now, Marty. We got plenty more where those come from. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. 3.32 left in the second quarter, and there you see it, North on top, 21 to 20, but the South playing a real good second quarter. Uh -huh. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 points in the quarter so far. You can only tell what's gonna happen down the line with timeouts, only the future knows. Pretty boisterous uh, cheering section for uh, North student, uh, South students down here to our left. Yeah, good student section from North too. It's yep. nice they came out. A lot of basketball this week with the boys playing on Monday and Thursday and the girls today. It's good that the students come out, support these uh, athletes. Wyman off the dribble, nails a jump shot and South has the lead. Does she feel it? Five of her last six. Ten points in the quarter, ten points in the game. South leads. Free, tied up. A little too much dribbling. Possession arrow points north sway, so they'll keep it, but uh, she was looking for an opening and never found it, and then all of a sudden she's double teamed. Yeah, it didn't seem like there's much flow to the offense on that situation. Bauer kicks it back out to free. If she catches it, I think she has a shot.
Ooh, all the coaches down below us didn't like that. <laughs> they mean the parents. <laughs> all goes on Smith. Of course, uh, on the north side, all the parents are like, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, and another missed free throw for North. Three has four points so far in the ball game. Rolls that one in. Another flat free throw attempt, but she got it in. Ties up the ball game at 22 and breaks the uh, south run. It's up to eight to nothing. Smith, oh, pardon me, Van Sluis. Bounce pass to Wyman is no good. Salzbrenner off the glass, no good. Dahlman over the back. Oh, the double whammy, Chris. You got that right. I think that's about three laps they've missed, Marty. That's what I was saying, they haven't played for so long. Maybe you know, some of that, you know, yes, you practice, 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 but that game action and that consistency isn't quite there so far for the North ladies. Schaefer on the line for uh, South, shooting the bonus. South back on top, 23 to 22. And puts in the second one, 24 to 22. South. And a lot of confidence building in by the red team now. They're feeling pretty good about themselves. Well, we kind of mentioned that, you know, the longer you leave a team like South in the game, the more yep. confidence they get and all of a sudden, and you're the one that, uh, Lizzie Free, hard, couldn't get it. A lot of Southsiders going for those rebounds. They're not giving North second chances. See if North can get a turnover here. There it is. Bauer, good timing. Puts it up and in. We're all tied at 24. Schaefer didn't do a very good job that time. Wyman pulls up. Oh, had another good look, but couldn't get it in. Good decision there by Wyman to pull up. She just couldn't put it in. I thought it was right on target. Schaefer, or Salzbrenner, spots the opening and takes it again and scores. Second time with her right hand. 26-24. Getting away from Lugopolsky with a steal. Salzbrenner from three-point land gets fouled. That time they call it. She's been hit three different times, and that's the first time they call the foul. Cami Feld picking up the personal, and uh, Salzbrenner looks hurt. The one thing, Chris, and, and you know this as well as anybody, you know, when you take that three-point shot, you really leave yourself exposed, and uh, when you get hit and you're not expecting it, uh, you can get hurt, and uh, Coach Runnis is uh, calling the official over and saying, you know, that's not the first time that's happened. That's about the fourth time tonight. And you need to start looking for that. I thought it was kind of getting away from south. Marty, well, it's kind of... Yeah, they went from a two-point lead, and all of a sudden, now they're down three. That's kind of ragtag, too. It's not as crisp as they were. That's one of the things, you know, we don't necessarily talk a lot about consistency, but, you know, when they were going good there for those couple of minutes, they were breaking the press and, and handling the ball, and all of a sudden, you know, they don't have that consistency, and they start uh, committing turnovers. And like the one at with Schaefer when Bauer made the steal, I mean, that's a bad one because now you're taking right to two points. Yep. I mean, you'd rather have a 10-second call and force him to throw it in than give him a layup. Salzbrenner knocks home two out of three. She has 12 points. And ball tipped out of bounds. 
They're gonna oh, they're gonna get a foul on Bauer. That's her second. Use it all. Paris and Bauer each have two fouls. Molly Burkhardt at the line. This is pretty exciting watching all these free throws. <laughs> Good kick out, free open. Shot is no good. Good block out. Feld with a strong rebound. Burkhardt looking. And right out of bounds. Aaron Maletsky in the ball game, number 22. Each of the girls that have two fouls, Bauer, Paris, and use it all are out now. Under a minute, 30 seconds. North up, 28-24. I think Coach Runnis wanted him just to run and see the best play possible, not wait for one. And that's oh, Salzbrenner with a quick move to the basket, missed her layup. And then they throw it out of bounds. I'll tell you, Connor Lugopolsky hit the floor hard, and you could see her head bounce back, and uh, I hope she's okay. She went down hard. Yeah, Salzbrenner took the rebound right away from her. Welsh in for Feld. 13.6 seconds left. A lot of time for South. Van Schluss. Tipped away, Maletsky. Shot at the buzzer. No good by Rachel Smith. And we're at halftime here at North High School with uh, the Lady Raiders up 28-24. between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors expose cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. If you're looking for a way to earn some extra cash, why not become a census taker for the 2010 census? These temporary part-time jobs offer good pay and flexible hours, working in your own...
you promised. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. There comes a time in life when you need government information And you just don't know which way to turn USA.gov Find your social security benefits online USA.gov Our list of jobs will put you on cloud nine USA.gov Shop auctions for a used minivan anytime USA.gov It's government made easy For the people USA.gov He passed away last year. It was hard at first. When I found out how sick he was, the doctor suggested hospice care. At home. Hospice helped so much. He came home, and that was wonderful. They helped me take care of him. They made his last months comfortable, pain-free. We were able to find some joy till the very end. WSCS Sports and all local programs are viewable on demand at WSCSSheboygan.com. Click on Programming, select VOD Player, and then select the appropriate menu item. Let's go through the first half scoring. First for the uh, Southsiders, Emily Schaefer had three, Rachel Smith had four, Rachel Van Schloos had seven, and Kimberly Wyman had a great second quarter. She scored 10 points and leads South with her 10 points in that second quarter. For uh, North, Maddie Bauer had two. CJ Usedal, Morgan Parise, and Connor Lugopolsky each had three. Lizzie Free had five. And Lauren Salzbrenner leads all scores with 12 first half points. Chris, uh, I know we were a little surprised when uh, South got the lead and actually held it for a time there in the second quarter, but uh, the old bugaboo showed up again. And that's why they lost the lead. Yeah, no question. Uh, 15 turnovers in the half, Marty. Just not going to get it done. They got to take much better care of the ball. And for North, we said their bugaboo is not shooting well. Well, they didn't shoot well. They are just 8 of 25 shooting. Uh, so very, very poor uh, performance by North from the floor. So North should be happy they got the lead. South shot was no good, and North comes away with it. Kimberly Wyman really had a nice quarter, Marty. Very nice. Started off scoring the first six points for South in the, the second quarter, and then she added a couple more, four more points. Well, she had seven rebounds, including four on the offensive glass, so just an outstanding half for Kimberly. One thing I thought South did really well was uh, keeping North from getting uh, second shots. Yes. It was mostly one and out. Salzbrenner pulls it out, looking to uh, get a driving lane, and does. Shot is off, no good. And another strong rebound that time by uh, Molly Burkhart. Salzbrenner, 3 of 12. 
You know, you're right. North only had four offensive rebounds, and I said Kimberly Wyman had four offensive rebounds herself, and there's another turnover. Use it all from outside the line. Her shot is off. Bauer, no good, but she's fouled, and uh, one of the few times tonight where North actually got her offensive rebound. Uh, that's a, okay, it's only Wyman second. Bauer steps to the line. She had two points in the first quarter. First half, pardon me. In that first half, Chris North was 9 for 15, 60%. And now they're 9 for 17. Another turnover. South uh, shot very well from the line. They were 5 for 7, 71%. Kind of weird. You had 60% in the half. That's it. They're coming into the game 60%. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it. Wow. Because they knew, because it was at the, who was the first girl? Salzbrenner missed one. Good kick out pass. Free is that open shot, no good. Bauer with another offensive rebound and has it tipped away and Selk comes away with the ball. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Two hard hits there, no calls. Burkhardt's shot is no good. And I think we're gonna get an over the back on uh, Molly Burkhardt. That's a tough one. Yeah. Early in the third quarter, still 6.05 remaining, not even two minutes in. Especially when uh, South had uh, looked like there was some contact against North underneath the basket. Yeah, exactly. Paris from way outside the line, rainbows it in. North now four of 10 from out there. Told you, Paris led the team in three-point makes. And Wyman with a layup, Marty. She has 12. Right down Main Street. Use it all, no good. And a touch foul is gonna call on Lugopolsky. Good tie up by Morgan Priest. North will get it back. Thirty-one to twenty-six, North on top. And another whistle. Was he free picking up the fall? I didn't see what happened there, Chris. It's her second. Oh, looked like they had to break away, but a bad pass. Nice spin move to the middle by uh, Paris, and she gets fouled. She's going to have a pair of free throws. Foul goes on uh, Molly Burkhardt, her fourth. Not a good first three minutes for South, Marty. No, not at all. Come out of halftime. This is. No, we have some momentum. We're playing right in there. We have the lead at one time. Started off with four quick turnovers in the first three minutes. We got three personal fouls already. 33 to 26. Long pass to file. And Paris hustling, tipping the ball away, preventing the easy layup. I don't know if you could... If you swing your camera just a little bit that way, Richard, and catch Tom Desatel right there with his arms folded watching tonight's game. I'm sure he's pulling for a greater win. Yep. Very nice season by Coach. I thought he team played extremely well, and he doesn't uh -huh. always get the credit he deserves. You had mentioned, I think, uh, one of the earlier games, you know, before we got to the tournament run, that uh, you thought this was his best 
coaching job. Yeah, it could be, because I think he got every ounce of energy out well, of everything he got. started the season with Yurka, the ankle injury, yep. and then they lost some players during the season. Offensive foul on file. Yeah, I, it's like a screening fall of sorts. Maybe not the best, but maybe one of the best. Three springing it up against File. That's a pretty good matchup. I think the advantage would have to go to North there. Salzbrenner rims out. Selk trying to kick out pass to uh, Smith, but threw it out of bounds, but it was tipped by North. South will keep it. It's 33-26. There's uh, 441 remaining in the third quarter. And uh, Cammie Feld is going to check back in. She had a pretty nice uh, goal of it back in the second quarter. Coming up to almost halfway through the third quarter, Marty and South only got a oh, basket. Oh, boy. Just a simple pass to a teammate, and it goes right out of bounds. Talk about unforced turnovers. If they could include little video clips in the dictionary, that would be under unforced turnover right there. Yep. Salzbrenner trying to get through the lane. Gets bumped, ball goes out of bounds, no call. Get used to it, it's only going to get worse as you move through the tournament. Yep. Bauer with the good defense, cutting off the uh, sideline. And Self doing a good job of helping out. Ball goes out of bounds off a of free, Self will keep it. Wyman, he's fouled. Paris doing maybe a little too much uh, acting out. The official doesn't like it. First trip to the line for uh, Kimberly. it all checks back in. Wyman hits one out of two. It's 33-27. Self guarding free. North trying to get penetration. South doing a pretty good job until uh, that time. And they're going to get uh, Salzbrenner with a charging foul. And Schluss has it. And a travel call. I was going to say, she doesn't look real comfortable having to handle the ball like that against pressure, bringing it up to court. Free had, had an opening, but the uh, out oh, Selk got a good grab that time, another grab. And we finally get a whistle after the third foul. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Smith picking up the foul. Lugopolsky on the line again. She'll be shooting a couple of them.
Gets the second one, it's 34-27. North up by seven. And Free knocks it out of bounds. Ooh, that's not good sportsmanship. Give the ball to the official. She didn't learn that from Billy. <laughs> A good cut to the lane, but uh, almost stolen away. Bauer knocked it away from Wyman. Schaefer had it, knocked away. Van Schluss around and out. And use it all, rips it away. And then she gets knocked to the floor and no call. And then Bauer gets called for the foul. You sure? <laughs> I don't know who they're going to call it on. Yep, you're right. You know, I mean, is it getting away from the refs? They're really letting some stuff go. Selk. Wow. You know, some of that, <laughs> you see it on replay, some of that you can't help because the skill level just isn't there. You know, they're trying to do things that they just shouldn't be trying. Yeah, trying to drive into things and. It's always hard when there's three other people there. Yep. And they're not wearing your colored jersey. Free from way outside the line, couldn't get it in. And Schluss from outside the line, her rainbow is no good, but uh, Smith comes away with it. Good hustle. Schaefer, no. Wyman. It's a two-letter answer, no. Free, going hard. She couldn't get it in. Salzbrenner is fouled by Selk. Timeout south. It's a full timeout, Kerry, with uh, two minutes left in the quarter. North on top, 34 27. We'll be right back. Back at a North High School, there you see Susie Runnis talking to the uh, troops. Well, if I'm Coach Thomas, I'm in pretty good shape, considering uh, we're a one for eight and a quarter, seven turnovers. We're only They've down only by scored seven. three points. Yeah, and you're only down by seven. I mean. It hasn't been pretty. No. Well, part of it's the quickness of North and their defense causing these situations, but uh, neither team really. I'm gonna get her with a carry. <clears throat> Ninth turnover for North. North only has a basket too, Marty. Yep, they're one of nine a in three the quarter. A three-pointer. Yep. One of nine in the quarter. Who's, what the, what, we missed something here? Uh, just another ball out of bounds. Another turnover? No. Okay. Oh, that should have been travel ahead of time. Well, uh, they're gonna get a fall on Wyman, and if, if it is, that's gonna be her fourth. Check it, it's her third. Free will be shooting a pair. 
Mixtry's all set the line so far for North. They've hit three out of six. Erica Trum, number four, back in the game. It's 36-27, largest lead of the game for either team. Good hands by Bauer. Connor's shot is no good, but she's fouled by Rachel Van Schloos. I don't know about you, Chris, but I think I've seen enough free throws. Well, i have uh, thinking about the fact if I had uh, four threes in Vegas, I'd be doing pretty good right now. And that's what uh, South has four starters with three and one with four. Six out of ten free throws in the quarter. North with now a ten-point lead, and uh, South throws it away again. Van Schloos not able to connect with Trump. Wow, Trump went right through. The left-hander couldn't draw a rim. Trump went right through Salzburner's screen. <laughs> and another turnover by South. Under a minute left in the third quarter, South Having a real tough go of it here in the third. Well, wow, North's not doing anything either, Marty. They haven't they've well, got they, one basket. I know, but at least they've made most of their free throws. Right, and they're taking care of the ball. They're, they're just missing shots. They're not uh, turning it over. Salzbrunner, spin move down the lane. Couldn't get it in. Ball tipped out of bounds by Connor Lugopolsky, and uh, South will have it with 34.1 seconds left. Or now three of 15 from the floor. Smith has it being guarded by Free. She goes down the lane and scoops it up and in. Nice shot, Rachel nice. Smith. Very nice shot and move. 15 seconds. Under 10. Well, use it all left, wide open, couldn't get it in. Bauer's shot is no good, but she's pushed and fouled. She'll be at the line shooting a pair. Use it all set the screen there, and Free could even shoot it or go back to Use it all. Use it all just popped out yeah. behind the three-point line, shot it up there. Rachel Smith picked up her fourth too, Chris. And a good hustle by Maddie Bauer and caused that foul. And a good shot of Maddie. Maddie. Just two points tonight, but she's got three big offensive rebounds here in the third quarter. Oh, <laughs> got that one in. I don't know if that's a shooter's touch or not. And a shot would not have counted. The dribbler went out of bounds. Selk, and we're at the end of three quarters of play. North on top, 38 to 29. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did, adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Sometimes I want more information about what's in a video game. 
Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Clear shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information about the ratings and rating summaries, go to esrb.org slash mobile. Back at North High School where uh, South had their troubles in the third quarter. And they trail it 38 to 29. North had 10 points that quarter, not a very good uh, total. But uh, South really struggled, only five. What were they up by at half by four? How would you like to shoot one of 12 in a quarter and extend your lead? <laughs> That's what North did. One of 12 shooting and they lead by nine. Well, what, what did you say the shot attempts versus turnovers was for well, South? There's 11 turnovers in that quarter now. South is 11 of 28 from the floor, but they've got 26 turnovers to match their, t their turnover attempts. They're almost exactly the same. And uh, North, they're shooting under 25% at nine of 37, and they're winning by, a, by nine. Wyman spins and shoots the uh, hook shot, but couldn't get it in, but she is fouled. Lizzie Free picking up her third foul. Wyman will be at the line. She leads uh, all scorers with 13 points. Burkhardt coming in for Trum. Thirty-eight to thirty. Defense! 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 North gets it right in the middle, and uh, Bauer gets fouled. Now that's the way you break a press. Oh boy. Four. That's one person they cannot afford to lose, Marty. Well, she's been the offense tonight. 14 points, almost half. Six of 11 from the floor. 11 rebounds. Bauer can't get the second. She's gonna have to work for a 12th. Time out south, keep the possession. Quick decision there. It's a 30 second timeout. Oh. Maybe not. It is. You see Tyler Thomas drawing up the plan. This should work if you can handle the ball. Same old, same old, Marty. You said it in the opening, and we talked about it in both games, and taking care of the basketball is so important, especially since North is not playing very well. The one thing you can't afford to do is turn the ball over. And North has given you every opportunity, but uh, lots of fouls, lots of turnovers, and uh, North just doing what it has to do to, to move on. Chris Wright giving you that analysis. I'm Mike Martin, Steve Reiner, and uh, Richard Bartson on camera. Kerry Kautzer in the truck, spinning the dials, giving you the uh, great pictures and uh, replays. Thank those guys for giving other time. No happy hour for those guys. <laughs> yeah, South did a great job that yes, time breaking excellent. the press. They spread the floor and didn't dribble so darn much. Yep, and now they have a nice half court set here. We haven't seen this since the second quarter. Burkhardt committing an offensive foul but not called. I'm going to try that at Friday basketball. See how you like it. <laughs> Oh, rainbow one. is no good, and then it goes out of bounds off of North. Rachel Smith right there fighting for the ball. 39 to 30, just uh, starting fourth quarter action. Regional WIAA play. 
Salzbrenner, good look to Paris, and she misses a layup. But good ball movement that time by the Lady Raiders. Bauer comes away with the board, Chris. Use it all from outside the line. Can't get it. Smith on the quick shot. Why not? I thought it was a good idea. Just couldn't get it in. I think North maybe would try to run some offense here with the six minute mark up by nine. You know, we talk about their bad shooting and uh, you know, still having a bit of a lead, but uh, when you get against some better teams, there's another turnover by South. That one would go on Van Schloos. Uh, against good teams, they're not gonna win. Salzbrenner with a three. It's our first basket of the uh, second half. When that pumps the lead up to 12, this is the largest lead of the game, and then uh, Bauer knocked the ball out of bounds. And Tyler Thomas, you can see him on the bottom of your screen wanting a foul, and I was surprised there wasn't a foul call too. Bauer cut uh, right in front of the dribbler. Yeah, on the season, North is shooting 44%, but tonight, wow. <laughs> nowhere near that. They're 10 of 41. That's, uh, I would have never thought they shot that well. Over the back is uh, Selk. That's her fourth. Well, North going to the free throw line. Is there any gas left in the tank for the uh, Red Wing women? Do they have a chance, a uh, little run in them? You know, when you, I always look at things like this, Marty. I know it sounds really strange, but my brain doesn't always work correctly. But they've only got 30 points in three quarters, and you're down by 12. That means you got to score. <laughs> I mean, you're already averaging less than 10 points a game. All right, quarter, quarter right. and you're already down by 12, and you only have five minutes to do that now. And now it's 13. Yep. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just sometimes I look at, the, look at that situation. They struggled to score the whole game because of all their turnovers. Seven-point run for North. Opening up a 14-point lead. It was seven. Last thing you want to do is foul south and give them chances to clip away at the free throw line. Salzbrenner now with four fouls, Chris. Uh, there's 5.22 remaining in the game. Selk will be at the line trying to break the run by North. Coach Thomas trying to get his girls all pumped up for one last run. As I said, is there any gas left in the tank? Burkhart steals the ball away oh, from use it all finish. had a layup and you're right couldn't finish is exactly the right word Molly doing a great job of getting the rebound but uh, you, know, you got to put those shots in a little bit of a trapping zone press yeah you needed every basket to go in here in the fourth quarter and for salt it's just not going they're all five and two of 14 in the half south is. And we're at the five minute mark. So it's nine minutes, two baskets. Sounds like Badger basketball. Not today. No. <laughs> Rob Wilson, who? Rob Wilson. Seven threes, 30 points. I only get seven threes in his career. Total. <laughs> This is uh, what I thought North might do. They got South in the double bonus and everybody on the floor has got serious foul trouble. Except for uh, Schaefer, she's the one that's gonna have to do some fouling. We roll down to the four minute mark. Lugopolski, oh, good rebound by Selk. 
Kicks it up to Burkhardt. Taking it to the hoop. Can't Couldn't get it to go in, but she's fouled. She'll be shooting a pair. Can't get any of those baskets to fall, Marty. Idea is to put the ball in the basket, right, Marty? I always thought it was better that way. Yep, an over trip. When you look at the, I mean, just when you look at the two teams and you watch North and the way they handle the press, the press, and pressure in general, I mean, they just seem more confident handling the ball. Seniors, seniors, seniors and experienced seniors. I mean, these girls have been playing varsity since they were sophomores and some since they were freshmen. South has got juniors, but played since freshmen. Well, the big girls, uh, CJ Usedal and Paris uh, feel pretty comfortable handling the ball too. Morgan's just an outstanding student athlete. Rolling down to the three minute mark left in the game. North up 44 to 31. Kind of reminds you of last night with the pier. Yep. There's a foul on Bauer by Schaefer. And the right person to foul too. I know she gets two, but of the people on the floor, that's one you want to foul, that or uh, use Adele. I mean, I can find the stats, so can Coach Thomas. I didn't. Well. <laughs> Bauer just 50. Actually, I was going to say something before. I think you, you were talking about the different shooting percentages by the girls. When you look on that website, you know, that's all there. When you look at the boys, it's never there. No. Wow, South stats weren't there either. Wyman goes right hey. through the defender and puts it in. A basket. And a steal. Ooh. Heavy hitting. Wow, there you saw it. There's the replay. Morgan Paris, each north-south game, gotten rung, her bell rung, and this one's no different. Talk to her mom. She doesn't want us around here anymore because they think it's us. She might have a point there. I think <laughs> it's mostly you, actually. <laughs> I had her for her and... And goes, after all that, North keeps the ball. <laughs> Paris up and uh, walking. Ball on Schaefer, her second. I just don't understand the point of the reach. And that's just freshman stuff. Keep your hands up tall, be tall, be strong. But the minute you poke at it, the officials are going to call that. Now, if you just try to get a five second or maybe you'll get a tap away, that might create something. But uh, when you poke your hands in there, most likely you're going to get that uh, foul. I know you're going for a held ball, but. Yeah. North has made four out of seven so far in the quarter from the free throw line. Schaefer pushing it up. Down by 12 with three minutes. Dribble, 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 dribble. Yeah, a lot of dribbling again. Schaefer, quick release on the three, couldn't get it in. Wyman's uh, putback is no good. There's gonna be a foul underneath. And I think it's gonna go on her. What? I think she pushed, well, I don't know if we can get a replay of that, Carrie. That's five on Kimberly Wyman. Whoa. She had to do a push or something prior to the rebound to be able to secure it, and that's what the official saw. I don't know if Kerry can get that up for us. But uh, you're right, we both were wondering which North player was gonna pick up that foul, but uh, that's not the case. Kimberly comes up 12 rebounds, Marty. She had an excellent night, 16 points, yep. 12 rebounds. 
Made a good shot of Lizzie Free. And her first shot rims off. She was 8 of 13, Marty, from the floor. Lyman, that was. Yes, I'm just counting here. The rest of the team's only got four baskets, Marty. Well, yeah, you can't win basketball games with that no, kind that of right? production. No, 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 no. Is that right? Yes. They have 12 baskets all night, and she had eight of them. It's tough to win like that. I mean, if she had 18 baskets, they could probably do it. 46 to 33, there's 2.11 remaining in the ball game. Now they're uh, shooting under 30%. She is, like I said, eight of 13. The rest of the team is four of 22. Oof. Yeah, that's not good. Two for 11, that's 18%. Soloth having to fight through the north pressure. Schaefer has it, looking for an opening. Spots it, but Paris comes over to help. Van Schloos on the shot attempt is no good. Smith had her shot blocked. And then uh, Selk grabs the rebound and gets followed by Bauer. That's uh, Maddie Bauer's fourth foul. Both teams with uh, 10 fouls, so they're both going to be in the double bonus. Selk has nine rebounds too, but in a game like this, when both teams aren't shooting well, rebounds. <laughs> you better have some rebounds. Rebounds are. <laughs> Our way, I mean, North is just 10 of 42 from the floor. I mean, that means there's 32 rebounds out there for you. <laughs> Self of the pair, she has three points on the night. Yeah, I know this is. Well, I can't. I can't even believe this. Under two minutes left in the game, Chris. North by 11, and uh, they are going to run clock. North only has two baskets in the half. And South only has two baskets in the half. Three baskets in the half, and they're winning. <laughs> Cammy Feld commits the fall on Lugopolsky. By 11. South has three baskets, and North has two. See, we had the three-pointer by Paris in the uh, yep. third quarter. That was it for that. Basket. And Salzbrenner with a three. Salzbrenner with a three. And I got uh, Wyman with a uh, two baskets. And who else has the basket? Wyman has one. Wyman has two. And Wyman has two in the half. And uh, number five, Rachel Smith yep. has one. Yep. So, so they've Polsky got puts in a pair this time, Chris, after missing two. It's 48-35. So three baskets for South and two for North in the half. From deep, Schaefer couldn't get it in. Bauer with the board and a quick foul on Kara Selk. Her fifth. Win and move on, right? That's, uh, hey, you'd rather win ugly than lose pretty. Checking in for Selk is uh, Cheyenne Welsh. North nice. will, uh, yeah, North will move here. on here against uh, the winner of Kimberly and uh, Manitowoc Lincoln. All season will end. They'll finish with a uh, 10 and 12 record on the year. Uh, also, uh, although when you watch this, you won't 
you know, the game will be over in that, but uh, we'll be at uh, Wapaka tomorrow afternoon for uh, Lutheran against Marion. Richard is uh, driving up with me, and uh, hopefully I'll get a partner somewhere along the line. We got some people in mind. And you people out there watching, you're not one of them. <laughs> Well, that would be, if the game's on at 10 tomorrow morning, which if you'd be watching, it would be, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. you better be on your way to Wapaka. <laughs> That's right. This game's at 1. Or you can call Marty. <laughs> 1-800-HELP. <laughs> <laughs> the bus is leaving early. It's five free throws in a row by North. 50 to 35, 110 left. Burkhart, oh, I thought it was going right in. I thought it was too. Smith on the foul. Her fifth. <laughs> Erica Trum. To take her spot. South now 12 of 38 from the floor. Ten for fifteen in the quarter for North. Fifty-one thirty-five. Little over sixty percent, Chris. This uh, quarter shooting, right on their average. Whoa, that cuts the <laughs> average some more. Where was the GPS on that shot? Cheyenne Welsh cranking it up there. She hadn't had one yet, so she's now in the miss column. You know what's really weird is South had 39 points in both the last games. They're getting right about at that 39 again. <laughs> last game was 58-39. It couldn't mm -hmm. end up that yet. They got 45 seconds to get the points. Checking in is uh, Jordan Eisner and uh, Carly Wyman. For North, Katie Sonnentag coming in. Her boyfriend George was up here before the game. We were talking. I see uh, Madison and Mackenzie Wolf were brought up from the freshman. Might have to use some of that height going against the pier in some of the teams. I'd get Lizzie Free out of the Oop. game and Lauren uh, and Morgan. I'd get all those girls on the bench. Walsh with a turnover. Last thing you need is a rolled ankle or something to happen. I hear you. You're up 17 with 30 some seconds left. This game's in the bank and collecting interest. As they say on the Bucks network. <laughs> Jim Paschke. Salzbrenner being guarded by Eisner. Chris uh, is going to go downstairs, see if he can get some interviews. And a foul is going to be on Carly Wyman. Paris will go to the line. All free throws here in the fourth quarter, except for the one three-pointer by Lauren Salzbrenner very early in the quarter. Maletsky, Kukla, and not Ollie coming in. This next free throw will be the, oh, pardon me, that last free throw was the 20th of the quarter for the Raiders. Trum 
Bangle, oh baby. Nail that one and Tyler Thomas with a quick timeout. Erica Trum. Let's see that one again, Kerry. That was sweet. Kerry Coates, our director tonight. Steve Reiner on the floor camera. Richard Bartson up here by us doing the up camera. There it is. Bango, baby. Oh, man. That was sweet. My partner, Chris Wright, is down below talking to uh, Mr. Stengel. And uh, Mike Martin, I'm up here finishing out the ball game. There's six seconds remaining. Haley Fullerton is back deep. Ball stolen away and bouncing it on the line. North will get it back with 2.8 seconds. It's the game that'll never end. Fullerton creeping up. There, oops, stolen away. Shot at the buzzer is no good. And that's the ball game. North a winner, 54 to 38. They will move on to the regional finals here uh, against uh, Manitowoc Lincoln or Kimberly. We're gonna step out for a minute. When we come back, Chris will have uh, some interviews hopefully and I'll have some final scoring and uh, we'll wrap this ball game up. cleaning out here. Oh, we are. We're uh, sweeping. Yeah, for space aliens. Yeah, for space aliens. Well, good luck with that. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Oh dear, I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, savings man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, savings man. No, thank you. Go visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. We're back here at North High with three happy Raiders. Uh, we'll start with Lizzie Free. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the fact you guys haven't played for a week. Is that kind of strange? You know, you're in the routine and in the grind, and all of a sudden you got a big layoff and you don't play anybody for a while. You just got to practice. Was it a little different getting back into the game situation again? It was really hard. I mean, I think especially because we were on such a roll. And, I mean, last year at this time we were 0-5, and, and it was a huge change. We were on a roll. We had our momentum, and... To take a week off was hard, but I think we did what we had to do, obviously, and we brought it tonight. Yeah, you could tell a little bit early on, I thought, too, you know, just practice is one thing, but the game speed and things like that changed a little bit, and obviously playing a crosstown rival who basically you know each other in and out. It's very difficult to run your stuff. They know your stuff. You know their stuff. You know, it makes probably made it kind of look sluggish at first. Absolutely. It was a very physical game. You could tell that from early on. And I mean, yeah, through practice, we didn't have that contact. Obviously, we weren't used to it, but I think we adjusted in the second quarter very well. Yeah, you guys probably weren't surprised. I, you know, I talked to Coach before. You guys, I think it was uh, Coach Shelby said that you guys knew that you're going to probably play South again. Is that difficult or are things knowing that you're going to have to play them a third time? I like the challenge. I like it a lot. It's a good game. It's always fun. Always a lot of fans. I think it was a great game to start off the tournament, and it really gave us a momentum for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, and as you go up the ladder, you know, there's going to be more people and more people, and playing a crosstown rival, they brought a lot of people to here, oh, so yeah. there was a good tournament atmosphere here tonight. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, and it really helped out. Well, good luck tomorrow, and so hopefully we'll be seeing you next week as well. Lauren, I thought scrappy defense tonight. Once again, we talked at the beginning that South struggles with turnovers and things, and I had you guys turning them over 28 times, which is big. I mean, that's what you had to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's what we do. We make them turn the ball over, and then we get our points, and 
that's how we roll. So. <laughs> uh, well, I one thing I think is that you make things really difficult for your opponents. Uh, you guys are really quick, and I know Coach probably thinks you guys should be quicker, but <laughs> but I think you guys are really quick, and and you know you help and recover a lot, and you know it's really a good team defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's what we practice. You know, we do drills where you're working with trapping and you're sprinting and you're working your butt off, you're communicating and I think we got really good team chemistry that we know to get back, we just play by instinct, you know, we don't react, we just play by instinct. So Another thing I noticed too throughout the whole year, it's not just team defense, it's team scoring. You know, it seems like every night you're getting different people to contribute and different people to score and you know, you don't have one person getting 20 points a game, you have a whole bunch of people up 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14 points and Everybody needs to contribute and expect, you know, it means it's difficult for other teams, too, to cover people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what makes a team, you know. Um, Any one of us can step up. We've been playing together for a long, long time and trust every single one of my teammates and <laughs> they'll score, I'll score, everyone will score. It's just going to be a team effort all the time. It's not going to be a one versus five. It's going to be five versus five. And I've also said that this year, too. I mean, you guys have grown together. I mean, you are the seniors and coming in this year. I mean, you're very experienced and ready for this. I mean, this is what you built up for, you know, a run at the conference championship. I know that didn't happen, but a, a run at state as well. Yeah, um, that's our goal. You know, get there. It's our last year. We want to go with a bang. You know, it's <laughs> senior year. You don't you don't want to be leaving the gym crying. You know, you want to get to Madison and you want to be on that court. So. Well, if you guys win it, you can cry too. Yeah. <laughs> well, as we go on, we'll talk to you soon. Coach, why don't you come on in? I just was going to have you come in because you just had such a successful season again. I mean, what a year. I mean, obviously not the goal of the conference championship, but again, you had a, a great squad this year, winning 20 games now already. Well, you just said it. I've got some great kids, and uh, I can't say enough about the seniors, um, just what they bring on the court, off the court, their passion for the game, the, the leadership, just the will to want to fight. And uh, so the girls get all the credit. I just, they're just letting me come along for the ride. <laughs> well, it's a long ride over the summer and everything too. Let's talk a little bit, uh, obviously, win and move on. And you know, probably not the prettiest game you want. You probably don't look at our film at all, but win and move on, look at the tape and get ready for tomorrow. I'll be glad you're practicing tomorrow morning and playing tomorrow. Well, I just told the girls in the locker room, the first game of the tournaments always seems to be the most difficult. I remember I told them, Years ago when uh, we had our state tournament team uh, that Friday night playing Nina down in Fond du Lac, that was a battle. And we knew we had to get past Friday to get to Saturday. So, so now we're playing Saturday and add to the fact that it's south, you know, yeah. cross-town rival. There's always that extra energy. And I thought tonight's game was just extremely physical. Um, and it was, it was a bar fight. I mean, it was like, don't bring the weak stuff. And, you know, calls could have went either way, you know. And... Um, you know, I'm just glad we came out of it not hurt, and, you know, we're looking forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, and as, you know, if you watch the boys' games, too, I mean, the refereeing, there's less and less calls, and I think, your you know, girls handle that stuff, and the physicalness is going to increase as you go up the ladder and the crowds and stuff. I think Lizzie made a good point about that, too. Each step is a little more difficult. It is, and we anticipate a tough test tomorrow night. Um, but, you know, we've got some information on them, and, you know, I like our chances, and it's just, you know, we're one step at a time, and we're enjoying this for a little while tonight, and you have to. It's all part of the journey, and uh, we've worked so long for this. Well, thanks so much, ladies, for stepping in. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. North, the winner, 54-38. to 38. Uh, With the win, North, it um, moves their record to 20-3. Uh, and three. South drops to 10-12 uh, and, and ends their season. Leading scorers for uh, the Southsiders, Kimberly Wyman had 16 points. Uh, Rachel Van Schluis had uh, seven in the first half, didn't score any in the second, finished with seven. Rachel Smith had six. And then chipping in with three each were uh, Kara Selk, Emily Schaefer, and uh, Erica Trum. Trum hitting that three-pointer near the end of the ball game. For North, they were led by Lauren Salzbrenner with uh, 16 points. Morgan Priest had 12. Maddie Bauer had seven. Connor Lugopolsky off the bench had eight, along with Lizzie Free. And then rounding out the scoring was CJ Usadol with three. Uh, again, North a winner, 54 to 38. With the win, WSCS TV moves their record to uh, 18 and four. Last year we only did 14 games. We were 10 and four. Uh, for the crew, Steve Reiner. Richard Bartson, Kerry Coutzer, our director, and for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.